Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is uh, April 1st and it is the start of the month, the start of a new month. I have a new setup and everything is very strange to me. <laughs> so we're going to be looking through all of our uh, colored for the month and then we'll go through and we will look into our to be colored for next month. Hello Dawn, hello Zoe. Two in the morning. Go to sleep. I know your neck and back is killing you. I'm sorry. I I hate it when I ache and I can't sleep. I hope everybody had a wonderful um, Easter. Move something here. Uh, welcome to all of our lurker lurkers out there. Just drained it a bit. Okay. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Nothing worse than being in pain. It's annoying. You shouldn't lean forward on your bed that way. Just saying. When you're reading, make sure that you're, you're not leaning forward. <laughs> Hello, B. How are you doing, B? Alright, so I'm not sure if we're going to get too many more in. I was waiting to get a couple more people in, and then we'll go through the colored for the month, as well as some to be colored. Hello, Topeka! Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You, you can't sit that way and read. Yeah, heating pad will work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to do that anymore, Zoe. I'm just saying. <laughs> now, Topeka, is it Topeka or Topeka? Just to make sure so I can actually, you know, pronounce it correctly without horribly offending you. <laughs> ah, she is telling you off <laughs> and she's she's giving you sage advice she's not telling you off she's giving you sage advice <laughs> you say it right the first time okay thank you I, I was a little concerned that I was saying it wrong Yep. Yeah, I sleep with two pillows because of the way I sleep. So, all right. So, it doesn't seem we're going to get too many more in. So, let's get started with all of the ones I colored this month. Uh, the first one I did not do on stream, I did this uh, specifically in. Um, Discord during our Thursday Discord chats as well as off and on throughout the month. So we have a Bumble's Bubbly Bath. <laughs> no problem at all, Topeka. Thank you. Then we have Knit to Fit. And then we have Huggable Baby Bunny. And then back here we have Bushel Full of Bunny. Bushel Full for Bunny. 
and Raising Rabbit. So those are the five that I've done out of the Happy Hoppers Coloring Book, Volume 1. And then for our lessons, I've been working in the Matchstick Mouse, and I completed this one for the entire month, and then we also finished this one, uh, which we started last month. So those are the ones for the lessons. If you want to watch either one of these and how I do them and that sort of thing, they are on the channel under uh, tutorials. And of course it was Monya March, so we colored the Monya Gates. And of course we had Monya come visit. So in Color My Dreams 1, we colored this one. I think that was the only one that I've colored in this one. For this month, I've colored a few others, but you know these were done years ago. But that is the one we did this month. I did start this one, but I haven't finished it yet. And then we've got a Color My Dreams 2. And I did this one. And I did another one. Where is it? Maybe not. I thought I did two in this book. I was pretty sure I did two in this book. Maybe it's behind it. I thought I did two in this book. Oh no, I did this one and I did that on a PDF so that I could color it with other things. <laughs> In Color My Dreams Faces 3, we colored this one with Monya on, this, on the chat. Yeah, you get, you get the hubby right on that. And then we, I also colored another one in here. This one here, I colored this one on Discord. So that is the two that we did in Color My Dreams Faces 2, no, for 3. Color My Dreams Faces 3. Hello, Vicki! Welcome, welcome. In Color My Dreams Fantasy Air Realm, I recolored this. I printed it in black and white and recolored it. And then I colored this as well. I colored this in Discord. And... There's another one in here. There it is. And I colored this one here on stream. So that is the Color My Dreams Forest Fairy Realm, fan, or F Forest Realm Fantasy 1. I'm just going to make sure that I didn't color any other ones. This one is Air Dreams Fantasy 1, and the cover is also Air Dreams Fantasy Air Realm. The dream books are available on her uh, Etsy account. If you type in exclamation point Monya, it'll give you her Etsy account. <laughs> Well, you know, maybe he can be gentle. And this one here is uh, from Color My Dreams 2. And that one we just finished on Saturday. And I don't know if you can see the crackling, but it is crackled. This one here I did off screen on um, 
Discord as well. And it is Fantasia by Nicholas Felbert. And that is it for all that was colored of this month. Hello, Yana. So those are all the things I colored this month. I colored quite a bit this month. I was actually really surprised at how much I actually colored this month. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Marilyn. Didn't see you sneak in there. Thank you, Zoe. I'm not sure I like the carpet under my chair. It's getting stuck. <laughs> now for the ones that we are going to color this month. It is my birth month, so I have chosen a couple of my favorite artists. And we're going to be coloring pages in their books. So the first one is this one here. Uh, by Ruth Sanderson. This is, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. Uh, she had so many children, she did not know what to do. She gave them some broth with plenty of bread, then kissed them and hugged them and sent them to bed. So she's got all the little mice children. So we're going to color that one. Yep, there's an RJ in here. <laughs> So that is Ruth Saunderson, uh, Mother Goose Rhymes. And we're going to color the dragons because, you know, it is the year of the dragons. So we're going to color the dragons out of Moonlit Mischief. And I think Zoe's already done this one. So I do want to get RJ's new book. I just haven't uh, done it yet. So at some point I'll get his new book too. So we're going we're gonna to put that page back together with this one so I don't lose the pages. So that's Moonlit Mischief and Mother Goose Rhymes. Another one of my favorite is Julia Speary. And we will be coloring this cute little couple from Julia Speary. I really like her books. They're really cute. I took a page out here. <laughs> so they're they're just really cute. And it's very spring spring love type thing. So that's the one we'll be doing out of that one. Oh, you did not. Oh, I think you mean post of your page. Okay. Because <laughs> that's not what that means to me. <laughs> uh, just saying. And I thought I marked it. I did. And we're going to do this one here out of Selena Finesh. It's called Tease. I just, I think she's so cute. Hello, Marcy. So we'll be doing this one here out of Selena Fenech. Or Fenech. I, I've been pronouncing it wrong. Uh, when, because I, I am having her books on auto reader. Uh, and it's pronounced Fenech. Not Fenech. Hello, Ronnie. So that is the Selena Finnick. And like I said, she's one of my favorite artists. So I'm going to put this one and this one together. And then we have two from the same artist because I just love her work and I'm not quite sure which one to do. Um, we may do both. We may only do one. 
So this one here is uh, from Vintage Classic Coloring Pages. This is her first book by Tatiana Bogomostova. And I want to do this page here because it's very spring, very much spring. So that's little mice crawling up the flowers. Very cute. Another one I want to do because it's got the art room. <laughs> I do not know. A lot of people pronounce it troll. Um, I am not a fan. So I just, I don't even pronounce her name. I don't have any of her books because of that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. A lot of people say troll. A lot of people say trolley. A lot of people say troll. Troll, trolla, trolla, la la la. <laughs> uh, some people say troll. I don't know. I, I, as long as I, as long as I know who they are. <laughs> uh, so, we've also got this one with the art room in the house. I love the frog. Look at all the frogs. And the little garden gnome. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Hello, Vicky. I think I missed you saying hello. If I didn't, I'm sorry. You get a hello twice. So I want to color both of them. I can't guarantee that we'll get to both of them. But I do want to color both of those. Now we're going to do something a little risque. Yeah, exactly. All right, Dawn, we'll have a good rest. Get some sleep. So I'm going to do something risque. I do I do not want people to yell. I do not want to hear any screaming. Uh, please do not unsubscribe. You know, that sort of thing. We are going to start with Selena Finnick. I think. Nah, let's start with let's start with this one. We're going to start with this one. Risky. <laughs> Naughty as far as some people are concerned. So we're going to start with this page here. And we're going to This is Amazon basic coloring paper <laughs> it's Amazon basic coloring paper and we're going to color on it with do not yell nobody's allowed to yell I'm, I'm, I'm not I, I, I don't want you to yell at me No, no, <laughs> not you, Dawn. The, the people that are going to yell at me for coloring on Amazon paper with the Caran Dash luminance. Yeah, I'm going to use Lumis. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use... This month we're going to, the, the theme of this month is, hello Alex, the theme of this month is going to be inexpensive paper, inexpensive books, expensive pencils. So I will be using my expensive pencils, my really expensive pencils, on Amazon paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do too. Um, I know there's nothing wrong with it, but there is a, there are some people out there that get really mad uh, and upset. And, and I hope that they don't get mad at me because I really like them. 
<laughs> but I do use all my pencils in different books. And I want to show you that even though they are on the on the artist quote unquote side of things, the Lumis can be easily used in basic coloring books. So I'm going to mix the Lumis and the Pablos if we need to. By the looks of this page, we're not going to need to. Um, but I've got quite a few different sets that are extremely, um, extremely expensive. Yes, I do base with marker sometimes. Um, it depends upon the page. I like to base things like Kevin Tao uh, with marker and then go into it with the pencils. Hello, Sue. So I have several, several different um, sets of expensive pencils higher than higher than basic artist grade and I want to see how well they work in these books as well as on regular um, cardstock paper on expensive coloring books that sort of thing I've used them on cardstock paper I've used them on on expensive coloring books but I have not uh, yes, uh, I have not. Well, I use them. Um, my cardstock, the cardstock that I use, the Nina, is sixty-five pound. You know, that's that's all I ever use when I when I print on cardstock unless I'm using my marker stock which I use for for markers but it's it's just I have so many of these expensive pencils and I don't find that I'm using them very often because a lot of the books I have are Amazon paper books and I don't want to uh, you know upset people or offend people but I do want to color in these books and I do want to use the pencils I have and enjoy the pencils I have so hi Britt welcome welcome that is a, a very true Zoe and it depends upon the paper um, one of my least favorite Amazon papers is the paper in Selena Fenech's books. Um, I don't know if it's the density of her grayscale or if it's the paper, but I do have a lot of trouble coloring that. But so I didn't want to upset anybody. I didn't want to offend anybody. But I've decided that this month we're going to use our good quality, high quality pencils in low quality books. Well, I understand that. But I know it upsets people. So I have to put that out there. That I'm sorry if it upsets you. But that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so. We're going to be using these in our book here today. So we're going to zoom you in. I'm going to move this out of the way. And what did I do with my swatch chart? <laughs> I've lost my swatch chart already. Yes, it is. It is the box of. Well, it's. It's 100 pencils. I got the box of 72, and I bought the um, other ones open stock because I already had the box of 72. All right, so we're going to start with um, 68, I think. Should be this one. That is not the right one. 
Oh, things were not put away properly. Which is this one? Yeah, it got put in the wrong place. So we're going to start with a 68. I'm going to zoom you in. And brighten a little bit. I've got a lot of natural light coming in now, which is making it great for me to color. But I don't know how well that's doing for you guys for being able to see things. So. These work very well on Amazon paper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I I don't mind having multiple different types of pencil because sometimes you have to see what works on the paper and sometimes really expensive pencils work sometimes they don't Yeah, I like coloring in it. I'm not sure if I like filming in it. <laughs> Especially when it starts going into sundown. I'm going to start having a little bit of... Uh, sunset here in a bit. Hopefully it doesn't change the lighting too much. So this one is Uh, I have no idea what that's called. Hiroki or Hiroko, um, something red. Number 68. <laughs> I cannot read the names on these. I really, really hope that at some point in the future they rethink the way that they do their naming. <laughs> Oh, it was fine. I I like to use the um the lesser expensive pencils because it does give you guys a lot more options. So if I'm doing lessons and things like that, I do prefer to use the, the lesser expensive pencils first and come into the more expensive pencils later on so that you're not feeling like you're having to use really expensive pencils to get results because you don't. All right. Now the next color I'm going to use is 872. I know that one was in its proper spot. Ah, well, it is your it is your page, dear. So I'm going over top of the previous color with the 872 and blending that in.
Hello, Noel. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I I have such a hard time reading it that uh, when I did my swatch chart, I only put the numbers on it. Um, I am going to go through when I create the swatch chart for the shop and put the names on them, but I have a really hard time seeing them. So if there are errors, if please excuse it, <laughs> because like I said, I can't see them very well. So I will actually, I will try to make sure there's not errors. I will uh, download the color list from Karen Dash and do it properly. But I'm telling you, it might be the only way that I can actually see what colors they are. <laughs> oh, that looks terrible. Uh, let's go. No. Oh, that's too much. Just adjusting this. Like I said, this is the first time I've actually colored in this space. And the camera is looking way different than it is on the paper. If I if I erased everything that, that wasn't spectacular, um, I would be erasing a lot. I'm just saying. <laughs> I would have blank pages all over the place. Most of the things, when I look at them, are just eh. <laughs> I'd have angry people at me, I'm just saying. Uh, which one, if you had a ch to choose, Karen Dash or Prismacolor for a small budget? And neither. Um, both of those are extremely expensive uh, for a for a lower budget. I do believe that the Prismacolors are cheaper, but I am not a f huge fan of Prismacolor pencils. So um, if I had to choose... Uh, I would go with a smaller set of the Karen Dash before I would go with Prismacolor. But it all depends upon your budget because Karen Dash are really expensive, especially right now. And so are Prismas. So I do believe Prismas are cheaper though. A lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would run out of erasers, I'm just saying. Sometimes it is what it is. You just got to go with it. So it is April, and I know there's quite a few of our, us people out there that have our birthdays this month. Uh, Miss Emily Illustrator has her birthday this month. Uh, Poet Spice has her birthday this month. And I do believe there's another one as well that has their birthday in April. And I can't remember her name for some reason. All right. 
So I'm going to keep that one out. And then we're going to go a slight bit lighter. With... I don't like that color. <laughs> I don't like that color. So we're going to actually grab the granite rose from the Pablos. So this one is granite rose. And it's, I don't know if that's actually a number. I think it's 493. And I figure it's my birthday. I'll do what color what I want to. <laughs> well, even even a small victory is a small victory. It, it's you don't have to finish everything in one month. You know, um, take your time and enjoy the process. You know. The only reason why I finish as many as I do is because either A, I really enjoy the artist, or B, because I'm doing it for you guys. Um, <laughs> sometimes it depends upon the page. If I start a page off screen, like for example, the uh, dolphin page, I actually started that page last year, and I'm still working on it. <laughs> so don't, don't, um, don't rush yourself. Enjoy the process. You know, relax in color. Well, you also have hurt yourself. So, you know, again, it doesn't have to be all done at the same time, all at once. You can take your time and relax with it. This is supposed to be a enjoyment, not, not a race. Oh, and I did color the Easter Bunny, and I didn't didn't show that. I don't know what I did with it. With moving everything around, I've I think I've lost a couple of colorings because I colored the Easter Bunny too, and I completely forgot about it. And I did that one on a stream from Monia Gates. Just building that color up. Blending all the darker colors together. Making sure that I cover everything. Hello, Deborah. Good night, Vicky. Sleep well. Yeah, go to sleep and listen to the rain. As you can tell, it's really sunny here.
Yep, it, it's just relax and, and let it do its thing, you know. Enjoy it while it while it's, you're doing it. And it's all that matters. And I'm off screen. All right, now well, there's her skin tone done. I think I want to add a little bit of pink to her cheeks. So let's grab um, let's grab this one here. This is number 83 ultramarine pink. Oh. sharpen this. here and then I'm going to take my blender nice Deborah Just blending that in a little bit. I didn't like the way it built up on that cheek there, so I use my finger and blend it through. As well as the blender. It's very strange. It's almost like it's shiny there. Weird. It's gone all shiny there. <laughs> and it may just be from the blender, but the blender may be hot or warm. From where it was sitting, it was in the sun for a part of the day, so. but it's not shiny on that side. Very weird. Very, very weird. <laughs> uh, this is a Julia Speary. A coloring book, An Enchanting World. All right, now we're going to do her hair. And we're going to do her hair... And this one first. Uh, I think. Mm, no. Let's go this way first. 
So we're going to start off with nine, no, 821, which is Naples Ochre. as our base color. I do have to finish her lips as well as her eyes before they drive me crazy. But let's get her hair out of the way, the basing of her hair out of the way first. Just so that her skin doesn't stand out so, so, uh, brightly. Yeah, it's a really cute book. All right, now we're going to do her eyes. So we're going to start with this one. So we're going to start with a 662, which is genuine cobalt blue. And then we're going to take this one and sharpen it. Um, I do not have the super colors. The only Karen Dash products I have are the Pablos, the Lumis, and the blenders, of course, as well as some of the Neo Color 2s. I have tried the museums and I like them, but I don't have the super colors. They were... I had a choice, either the, the Pablos or the super colors, and I chose the Pablos, so... And a little tiny bit darker, like this one here. Hello, Callie. So I'm going between the cobalt blue, the light cobalt blue, and the Fithala, uh, uh, number 162. <laughs> they should not put names on pencils that people cannot pronounce. Your pencil will be get will be known only as
we're going to do her lips. And we're going to give her a little bit of a blush lip. So let's give her a little bit of purplish red, number 350. Thank you, Dawn. Take that rose. I'm just going to blend that in. And there we have her lips. I need my brush. Yeah, it it's <sighs> I know why they do it. It's just so hard to say it. <laughs> and take a little bit of pink white. on the highlight of her lip there. All right, now we're going to start on her hair. We're going to start with this one here, which is Indian yellow, which is 523. Yeah, rain will make you tired, that's for sure. So I'm going to start up here at the top. And we're flicking, following the hairline. <laughs> well, you know, she does give off that vibe, just saying. So I hope you all enjoyed the month of Monia March. Of course, we will be doing that again next year. And I hope everybody that uh, won a page, uh, I hope you all color some and post them for Monia to see. She does really enjoy seeing everybody's coloring. So. Yeah, exactly. I can't do Daffy Duck, so. I will just say the numbers. <laughs>
Just coloring solid through here. Getting those shadows in. And up here. And of course we'll be adding another color as well. Actually probably about two or three other colors. Not yet. Not yet. 420, Della, 420. But it is my birth month. It is not my birthday yet. Soon. Once you get over 50, I think you're allowed to celebrate all month long, right? <laughs> I think that was the rule last year, wasn't it? We're over 50 now. I can so I have to celebrate all month long. That is not a part of hair. Oh, I need my my mono. What do I do with it? There it is. I colored her hair band yellow and I didn't want to <laughs> all right well as long as as long as it's good to you guys so uh, you know I, I figure I, I reached 50 <laughs> I'm, I'm getting over the you know Already past the 50 mark, you know. At this point, you, you, you have to celebrate the whole month because it takes you forever just to celebrate. <laughs> you can only do it in small increments. All right, we're going to put that one aside. Uh, yeah, well, good luck with that. I don't believe you since my body has decided 50 is the age where I have to start crawling on all fours. <laughs> Just to get around. All right, now I'm using the brown ochre. And hello, Della sister. I hope you guys had a good Easter. <laughs> I made it longer than you. Yes. Hello, Shannon. Shannon, have you ever colored in Julia Spearies with the Karen Dash? Uh, 
They're not doing too badly, actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am not doing it just to get under your skin. <laughs> I am doing it actually because I really enjoy the pencils and I really enjoy the books, but I don't want to copy photocopy the books onto better paper to be able to use the pencils. I, I'm not doing it just to get under your skin. <laughs> just saying. Oh, I know it crossed my mind. I'm not saying it did not. I, I know that it crossed my mind that this is going to drive poor Shannon crazy. And I did say poor Shannon because I do know that it, it is something that does not uh, make you make you uh, do more than cringe. I'm not going to fib about it. I, I did consider that factor, and I almost didn't do it, or I almost decided to do it and do it as an April Fool's Day joke. But I'm enjoying the way they're coloring. <laughs> and I really want to see how well they do on the on the, or how well I can do with them. Because I don't get to color with them very often. And I'm, I'm liking the way it's coming. Not sure I like the uh, pinks in it, but, you know, we know how that goes. It made my cheeks really, really shiny. Oh, goodness, no, I can't press hard. <laughs> no, 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 no pressing hard. No, you nice light, light. Shannon, did, did your pink go all shiny, shiny? Like, I didn't put a heavy coat on there or anything, and it went all shiny even before I put the blender to it. I took the blender to it to see if I could get some of the shine off, but... Yeah, no, I, I don't even think I'm going to make it th to that age. You and B have me beat completely uh, with the, your youthfulness and vitality. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not... Uh, like I said, I hit 50 and... My body decided, okay, it's time for you to go back to infancy and you have to crawl around on the floor. By the time I'm 55, it'll have me back in diapers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so it's not just me. Because that pink went kind of shiny. It was um, ultramarine pink. It went kind of shiny.
<laughs> yeah, if I have to get down onto the floor for any particular reason at all, and there isn't something close by that I can pull myself up with, I'm going to be crawling until I can find something. Just saying. These are all the joys of all you wonderful people out there that are not 50 yet. That you get to feel. <laughs> Some of you before then. Others of you will have to suffer it after, like I did. <laughs> and for all of us that have already felt it and know exactly what I mean, I'm sorry. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and hopefully they'll be able to figure out why half of my body decided that it wants to blow up like a balloon. And the other half said, no, it's okay, I'm fine. <laughs> talking to somebody earlier and it, I told her it feels like I have half a fat person stuck inside me. <laughs> the other half is normal. One side is not. Alright. Ah, he's a step older than me. You got 12 years. Pfft. I'm sorry, Steve. She, she's going to run you into the grave. <laughs> Going back to um, Indian Yellow. I found my glove, so I figured I'd wear it. Yeah, yeah, I, I do that. Um, luckily, I have young men still living at home. So I just uh, holler at them and they'll come help me if I can't get up. But I have, uh, I've had to crawl around till I could reach something that I uh, could pull myself up with. That is always scary. Just very lightly going over it with the Naples uh, ochre, which is the light yellow that we used.
<laughs> oh, yeah, but most men are mentally five, so, you know, just saying. B, I hope the physical therapy helps. I really do. I'm sorry, I had to take a drink. My mouth was getting dry. All right, going to use the light color here on her eyebrows. And then we're going to get started on her dress. Now, I don't I'm not overly fond with the pinks that are available in the um luminance. So we're going to use the pinks in the Pablo we're going to start off with rose pink. In her barrette. Hair band, whatever you want to call it. Her hair ribbon. Yeah, I've tried tying ribbons like this in my hair. It does not work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I'm glad that it's helping me. I really am. I had uh, physical therapy for my uh, rotary cuffs, and it took a long time to get those back into sh into some semblance of shape where I could move properly again. <laughs> this one here is salmon pink. Then we're going to go back to the luminance and we're going to grab that white pink or pink white. Hello, Dion. So this is a white pink from the luminance. I'm just going to put the highlight in. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's a good Broadway as well. All right, and then we're going to come back with that white pink. So honestly, what do you guys think of the picture, the lighting, that sort of thing? Does, does the lighting work well for you guys or is it washed out? Give me honest opinions so that I can adjust. Hello, Della. I've already said hello, Della. What am I talking about? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you, Dion. Yeah, arthritis will do that. Okay. 
with the new setup, this is the first time I've streamed uh, since getting the, the new setup done. So I'm not sure if all the lighting is good for you guys or I've got a ton of natural light now. Which does change things a little bit. All right, now we're going to do her dress. And we're going to do the majority of her dress in uh, pink, except for this part here, and this part here, the beam here. All of that is going to be light blue, I think. We want to tie into him, but we don't want to overtake. We don't want it matchy matchy, you know. I'm working on the pink. Good Lord, woman. <laughs> well, yeah, Deborah. If I fits, I sits. You know that rule. <laughs> Thank you. There's pink in it. Right here in her hair. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry if you've lost your mind. I would help you find it, but that is one of those things that I am just not good at finding. I, I think mine ran off with the sailor next door, but, you know, it's never to be seen again. I gave mine up for Lent, forgot who I lent it to. <laughs> Say it. Thank you. All right, now I'm going in with the white pink. Bringing that salmon into it. Thank you, Deborah. 
Coming back through with the rose pink. And I think I just want a little bit of this one, although it's probably going to go all shiny on me. In that shadow area. And this is the Luminance Ultramarine Pink. Awesome, Deborah. Well, you lurk away. Don't forget hit, to hit exclamation point lurk. Just because Lomas Aspie has given us a wonderful saying for lurk mode. Getting that into the shadows there. And we're just going to buff that out with this one here. So I'm going back and forth between the Luminance and the Pablos. And I think the mixture is working really well on this paper. Um, one of the things I will strongly suggest if you are going to use uh, the Luminance on coloring book paper is use a very light hand. If you use too heavy of a hand, that tooth is going to disappear very quickly and so is your pencil. So make sure that you use a fairly light hand to build that color up. You don't need to squish it. You can't, you know, Lumi's, um, just don't squish them. I, I don't squish them. Um, if you just carefully build up the color, it does work very nicely, even on coloring book paper. Now, I do say that they are lacking in a couple of colors. I did find out that, uh, and I don't know how I didn't find this out sooner, but uh, the Derwent Chroma Flow are coming out in the U UK in May, uh, in the US in, I think it's June or July, with a 150 set of pencils. I know, Shannon, you don't like the Chroma Flow, but I do. <laughs> so I'm hoping that they're going to have a few more colors that, that it's been lacking. Hello, Aspie. Good night, Topeka. Aspie's been lurking. Lurky McGurky. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's one set that I'm kind of looking forward to coming out with a larger amount of colors. I want to see what colors they come out with. Um, I don't, I, well, I do understand why they're more available in the UK beforehand, but it makes me all jelly. So, yeah. <laughs> so many good pencils are available in the UK that either don't come out here in the US or come out much later in the US. I have no idea. I I really hope so because some of their ranges are are quite small. It'd be awesome if they took the uh, Durant drawing and the light fast up to 150. That'd be really cool. I'd be happy with that. Yeah, exactly. As it's layering, new new shades and colors are coming out. Absolutely. So I think we will probably be able to finish with her tonight. And then on Saturday, we will uh, finish up with him, if not during the week, for a work in progress day. Depends upon what goes on with the doctor and that sort of thing, what he tells me I need to do. second for some reason my eyes went all watery and sometimes when my eyes go all watery they uh, they sting which is annoying yeah I don't use the ink tents enough to, to warrant another 50 pencils um, but that's just me and, and a fright of watercolor stuff. I'm not all that great with it and sometimes I feel it just doesn't look right. Um, you pickle uh, Corey there's a bunch of you um, Connie that and Shannon all of you do so good with watercolor and adding water to things. And I suck at it. <laughs> I add water and it looks okay, but it doesn't look great. And then I'm, you know, it wrinkles the page and it's hard to take a picture of. And Emily's really good with watercolor too. I have seen you do good watercolor stuff. Much better than mine. I've seen you do good watercoloring stuff, so meh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've used them with the colorless blender and I've used them with a Tombow blender and I've used them with a water brush and they always look blah to me when I do them. They just don't have that. And they're supposed to be more vibrant when you activate them and mine always look so dull. <laughs> Yeah, I would I would love more drawing pencils. Um, the the Derwent drawing set is very much lacking in in their selection. Um, the color softer are fine. What was the other ones? The Pablos are fine. Although I wouldn't mind 150 Pablos. Yeah. And then we're going to come through with the Luminance Ultramarine Pink. But Shannon, I've seen you do some really, really pretty things with, with watercolor or with activating with both the um, water brush and the Tombow. It always looks so good. And mine just always looks blah. Somehow I managed to mix colors and make mud. I think so. I think she colors very nicely with water. It's her fault that I want the Karen Dash watercolors. <laughs> They're still on my list. Except I've told hubby that they're not a top priority, so. And he, he says that he doesn't see me do a lot of watercolor, so. Which is a fair point. I don't do a whole lot of watercolor. But now I have a watercolor space, so maybe I'll do more of it. Yeah, I, uh, my Tombow's fine. I haven't had one dry out yet, but like I said, I don't use them a whole lot for that, so. But having um, two sides of my desk cleaned off and accessible, one side has all my crafty stuff, like my stickles, uh, inks, watercolors, that sort of thing. My watercolor mat and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to be setting up a camera over on that side as well. So when we're doing uh, watercolory stuff or, you know, stickles or backgrounds or things like that, uh, all I have to do is turn on the camera on that side and uh, then you will... I will be able to, to show you what I'm doing over there. Instead of bringing all the watercolor stuff and everything else over here, I can already have it set up on the other side of the desk and uh, bring it on over. So. Well, 
men men can be a little bit harder on things. Um, he might be pressing too hard on it and releasing too much of the fluid at once. If he's got a heavy hand, that may, that may be a possi possibility. Well, you did invent something. You, you gave your, yourself a way of doing it. I think everybody was copying you, Shannon. I'm just saying. They have cameras in your home. <laughs> they see what you're thinking. Well, I'd never heard of doing it with the Tombow and and that sort of thing either, you know. I always just used a paintbrush and, and water, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I do find that the... Uh, Sometimes the Tombow brush markers and the Kirin and that sort of thing. I do find sometimes that they get a little bit too moist on the paper and get the paper peeling up on you. But <laughs> Yeah, that is true. You can find everything on YouTube. Even things you don't want to see. So I'm going back and forth between the ultramarine pink from the Lumis, which is number 83, so the luminescence, uh, rose pink number 82, and salmon pink number 71 from the Pablos. Yeah, they are nice. I like them. Um, there's a, a new set out. I have some of the smaller sets, but there is a new set out that has all of the smaller sets combined. Is that the set that you got? I heard they're really nice. Good afternoon, Celine. How was your adulting? I get to do adulting tomorrow. I just really want them to figure out what's wrong with me. It's a 60 set? Okay, yeah, it is the newer set. Cool. Are you going to be uh, reviewing them or showing them on... on screen soon I know you missed today and I really missed you this morning by the way I had I even had you written down in my schedule <laughs> yeah yeah cool yeah the ones I have are two smaller sets I think there it works out to be like 48 or something like that Okay, good, good. I'm glad that hopefully they, they have figured something out for it. Yeah, I do. I need to do that too. Um, tomorrow I have blood work to do. 
and physical to do so I'm not allowed to eat or anything like that after 10 o'clock tonight I think I spat on my page Now, do you, did you see the doctor today, or, or did you get your blood work today, Shannon, or is that tomorrow? I thought, I think it was today, wasn't it? A day to do blood work, April Fool's Day. Now, I'm just blending it all together with the pink-white. Or white pink, whichever way you want to call it, uh, from the luminance. Yeah, yeah, I know that that's what you were supposed to be getting checked out for is to see if the D came back up, but hopefully it has. Hopefully it was just a, a rando thing that you were able to, to repair. I, I am terrified of finding out what they find out tomorrow. I haven't seen a doctor in, well, since before COVID. <laughs> um, I don't like doctors. They, they, I, I'm waiting for one to finish practicing and actually, you know, fully understand what he's doing. Um, or she, them. But, uh. Unfortunately, my body is having, you know, other thoughts and saying, no, you better go see one now. Okay. You start that tomorrow? Yeah, I was picking on uh, Alex that she was she was soaking up all the sun rays the other day, and I I told her that she had to share. Other people need it too. <laughs> so we're gonna blame it on Alex for you. She's hogging all the sun rays. She wrote your prescription? Okay. Well, I hope it helps. I really do. There is nothing worse than not knowing what's going on with your body. Our body should not betray us like that. Mine betrays me all the time and it drives me crazy. It's really high. <laughs> the other day when you were out there soaking up all the sun rays out, of, out in the yard. Told you to share. Other people needed them. 
he was hogging them. <laughs> Alex heard her name and went, oh dear, what did I do? Sun rays, dear. Vitamin D. The natural kind. All right. I know. There was Oregon sun in March, yeah. Ooh. Well, I hope it I hope it uh doesn't knock any powers or anything like that out. Or snow you in. That is a thing. I know that it's supposed to cool down here. At about Wednesday. Yeah, it's beautiful today. It was beautiful yesterday, too. Um, then we're supposed to get clouded over late tomorrow. And then Wednesday, it's going to start downpouring again. So I have all the drapes open, enjoying it while I can, especially while I'm cleaning and, and sorting out this new office space. Um, there is a short, like, I mean, really short, not short, short, but uh, short video of this space. I only made it available to um, members because I made it on my cell phone in their little live thing and I don't know how well it turned out. Also, I had been working all day so I'm a little short of breath and my cell phone picks up every single breath and it drives me crazy. So, <laughs> um, let me know if you are a uh, Pixie, if you enjoyed the video or if I should redo it and put it out publicly. But yeah, I, I have the new space all set up now. Everything's put away. It looks cool, I think. And it should uh, it should give me a lot more versatility in uh, doing the different watercolor and all those fun things. Good night, Zoe. Get some sleep. You know, 
it's almost four in the morning, so, you know. And just for the record, I did tell her to go to bed as soon as I came in. <laughs> I'll try to get some sleep before then. All right, now we're going to do her little shoes and we're going to do her shoes. We're going to do her shoes blue with little pink bows. So we're going to start with the darkest blue, which is a luminance number 162. I think it's uh, the thalo blue. Thalo blue. Thalo. I can never pronounce it proper. There's a lot of things I don't pronounce proper, I'm just saying. I, I'm told very often that what I'm calling something is not what it's called. Because, you know, I, I sound everything out. <laughs> And they said 50,000. Well, they want you feeling better. They got to get those levels up quickly, so. And then I'm going through with the uh, 682 Genuine Cobalt Blue. I hope if they ever remake this set, they fix those, those uh, names. That's the only gripe I have about the Lumis is where they decided to put the names of the pencils. Yeah, 50k is a lot, but with with what your levels were, 
I kind of expect that because they've got to get you out of that critical stage. Yours are critically low. They've got to get it up out of the critical. Actually, have to. Bob in to see the doctor too for his physical. And that's why they have you on such a high dose, because you have to get out of that critical level. Get you up out of critical, and then they'll, then they'll level you out. Just a teensy bit, yeah. Just a little. Little, little. Alright, now we're going to take some black for the bottoms of her shoes. Is this one? Which is number nine. We're going to finish her up and then we'll be done for the night. It is getting close to that time. I know it's getting very late for most of you. So I thank you all very much for coming and sticking it out with me. I hope you enjoy the new uh, lighting and that sort of thing of the space. And hopefully it makes watching the streams a lot more pleasant. Um, I'm not having to adjust as much. For lighting and that sort of thing so once we get it a hundred percent all tuned in and dialed in it should work out very nicely um, again if you are a um, what is the word I'm looking for if you are a pixie that's the word I'm looking for um, check out the space on the members only uh, live stream there I did stream it but it is recorded and like I said it only took about three minutes let me know if I should redo it before I make it public
and below the video uh, here if you want to see the new space let me know and let me know if you'd rather see it in a recording or if you would rather see it live thank you so much Mona and hello Ma -ma -ma Mona she only lurks so I don't sing to her she sits there going please don't sing please don't sing please don't sing and then I sing <laughs> yeah I know a lot of people that have to get iron with infusions it's not a fun thing I'm using the ultramarine pink and the uh, salmon pink, ultramarine pink out of the luminance. No, sorry, the purplish red out of the luminance and the salmon pink, the ultramarine pink was the other one. Sorry about that. For the bows on her shoes. And I know we've got her hat and her little flower left to do so we'll get that done before we go and her hat we're going to work in the blues live <laughs> uh, it will be a very quick one so yeah I'll I'll do a really really quick one on Monday and then I'll I'll um, start a new live stream for the Monday Night Live because I'll have to stream it from my phone so that people can see it properly All right, going through with the thalo blue, which is number 162 in the luminance. Thank you, B. Thank you, Callie. And turn it just slightly to get into the under areas I have to do that for some reason with curves I don't know why but for some reason I can't color around a corner <laughs> this is very strange all right then we're going to come in with the cobalt uh, uh, genuine cobalt blue which is number 662 out of the luminance. I'm going to try not to rush, so if we run a little over, that's fine. Again, I thank you all very much for coming and hanging out. So if you do have to run off and, you know, get some sleep and all of that fun stuff, feel free to do so. I'm just going to finish this up with the hat as well as the little flower in her hair. And then uh, we will call it a night.
Sleep won't come for a while. Okay. Well. And I'm just going back and forth with the three blues. The lightest blue being used is light cobalt blue, which is 661. I am using the luminance for all three of these blues. Again, starting off with the thalo blue 162. And this is the same color combination that I've used for all the blues on the page so far. His blues will be a little bit darker, more of the navy blue kind of colors. So my thoughts on using the expensive pencils on the coloring book. I'm not having a lot of issues with this book in particular. Um, like I said, different coloring books, different manufacturing areas, different paper. So, the, so far this book is doing very well uh, with the Caran d'Ache as well as the Pablos the luminance as well as the Pablo, sorry. Uh, so I do find that they work quite nicely on that, on the paper. Now, that being said, it is different paper. It has a completely different feel than, say, the um, Selena Fennec, uh because it's just got a different feel. I don't know if it's different Amazon paper, if it's from a different region. I don't know what makes it different, but it's different. Oh no! Oy vey. That's not fun. Can you, I, hopefully you can take it back. They should have test fitted you while you were there purchasing it if you bought it at the medical facility. I don't know where you bought it, so. I think that's it for the hat. Just gonna get the edge here. Like so. Now for her little flower up in her hair, we're gonna take a bright yellow. So we're going to use uh, lemon yellow for the center. Want it to be a different yellow than her hair. And then we're going to take our blues. And we're just going to use the 
uh, thalo blue as well as the light cobalt blue. We're not going to put a mid-tone in. We're just going to blend the dark tone into a light tone. And build that color up. Because it's such a small area, I want the highlights to show a little bit. Good night, Della. Good night, Yana. Have a good sleep. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I'm just blending that thalo into the light cobalt, spreading that thalo out a little bit, and lightening it up into the center area. of the petal. I'm just going to come in a little bit more. So, all right, going to zoom it out so you can see a little bit better. And see the whole page. And there we have our cutesy little one and her boy. And we will finish him on the next stream. And uh, unless I do... A work in progress Wednesday this week. If I do do that, I will probably get it finished up before a Saturday and we will move on to a new page and a different set of pencils. All right, guys, thank you all very much for coming. Uh, good night, Della. I hope you sleep really well. Good night, Yana. Have a good sleep as well. For all of you getting ready for bed, I hope you have a wonderful night, a great sleep. Shannon, my thoughts are with you, and I know that things can be um, things can be very complicated and very scary when it comes to doctors and our health. So um, my my thoughts are with you, my heart is with you, and I know everything will work out and will be just fine. Um, but we got to get through it all first for it to be just fine. <laughs> all right. Good night, everyone. Um, much love to every single one of you. And, of course, always remember to like, comment, and subscribe to any YouTube artists that you enjoy. And, of course, always remember to relax, color, and stay safe, everyone. Until next time.